What's up everyone? I'm Roman. This is still the Movavi vlog, but today's episode is gonna be quite different. First of all, we are shooting not in the studio where we usually do, but in my room. Yep, that's right. Here's where I live. This is a kitty channel. Will you subscribe to our channel? Will you ring the bell? Second of all, we have a guest. Today we are hosting a good friend of mine, Anastasia! Hi! Hi What's up? How are you guys? Thanks for having me today. Today's video is all about music. You see, Anastasia and I have been friends since forever. We like pretty much the same tunes and we also love to sing and play together. It's true, we make cover songs and sometimes even record them. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's, gonna it's all be. about music. It's all about <laughs> That was awful. Well, should we show him what we've got? I don't know. <laughs> I think we should. <laughs> okay, let's. Cover videos are very popular among music fans. Sometimes I wonder if there are any songs that haven't been covered and uploaded to YouTube. Most are amateur videos filmed at home just like ours. Vocals, guitar or piano, a regular video camera or even a smartphone and a home studio microphone are all you really need for this type of video. And cheap equipment like this can stop homegrown musicians from hitting the charts on YouTube. I'm all out of faith, this is how important things are your talent and uniqueness. If you love music, singing, playing the guitar or even a theremin. Hey Paul, you know what a theremin is? No. Yes, I do. Try to shoot your own music video for YouTube. It's really easy and you can do it at home just like Anastasia and I do. Let me explain you what you need to think about when shooting a cover video. Amateur cover videos are usually filmed at home, in a living room or a bedroom. So here's a tip number one. Clean your room. You can shoot using a wall as a background, but if the background contains some details of your living space, like pillows, posters or books, it's much more interesting. It lets your personality come through. In this video, Anastasia and I are sitting on a sofa and there is some space behind us, so the frame looks three-dimensional. Another option I really like is to use the room's perspective as a background. Either way, the camera must be placed at eye level or higher. Instead of a tripod, we used a tall chair and a pile of books. I don't recommend you film from a lower angle. Yep, that's how not to shoot. And here's one more tip on the shot size. A shot will look good if the viewer can see you from the waist up. Even if you have a super cool guitar, don't attempt to fit it into the frame by any means. If only some parts of the instrument can be seen, it's okay. If you're a loyal subscriber to the Movavi vlog, you know for sure. Want to make an awesome video? Movavi Video Editor is the handiest, easy to use and simply cool video editing software to get the job done. This autumn the boys and girls from the Movavi are introducing a brand new Movavi Video Editor 15. The latest version includes multi-track, fast track HD technology and some great ready to use intros for your YouTube channel. Follow this link and be among the first ones to check out the brand new Movavi Video Editor 15. If possible, don't use ceiling lights. This kind of lighting is quite weak, doesn't light your face properly and casts weird shadows. If you have a bright room like mine and the windows let sunlight in, use it. Shoot your video in front of the window using natural light. 
In the other example I've already shown, Anastasia and I are sitting in front of the window, so the light from the outside doesn't come sideways, but it's directed right at our faces. Take a look at our earlier detailed tutorial on how to set up effective lighting at home. I'll leave the link in the description. Our cover video was shot with Canon 60D we often mention in our tutorials. It's an amateur DSLR camera, nothing special. It has a display you can position in any way you want, and it's really handy when you're filming cover videos or vlogs. If you remember my tips on setting up the frame and the lighting, a cheap digital camera, an action camera, or even your smartphone will work for your cover video. But this is music, so the most important thing is the sound. Decided to shoot your own homemade cover video? Have a professional studio microphone? Nope. Neither do I. Think about which room you're recording the sound in. Oddly enough, your bedroom or your living room would be probably fine for this purpose, when there are a lot of things in the room like curtains, furniture, wallpapers, they all help to reduce sound reflection. It means there won't be any annoying echoes or, to be more precise, reverberation in your recordings. For example, if we recorded our cover in our office, the sound would be awful. What microphones should you use? My advice is to use something that's within your reach. In our case, we use two lavalier mics that we normally use for our videos, one for Anastasia, the other for me. And no special mic for the guitar. We've recorded a few alternatives with other types of mic. A Zoom stereo mic, a Behringer Studio condenser mic, and just a phone mic. Which one do you like most? Here comes the sun I say It's alright It's alright Little dog It's me Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I say it's alright. It's alright. And now it's time to edit our video. Let's open Movavi Video Suite. It's a homemade cover video, but what about bringing some style to it, like in some fancy music videos? How about a black background and title with the artist's name and song title? Click the Add Media Files tab and drop the background onto the timeline. If black is not your favorite color and you want something bright, feel free to scroll through this tab with backgrounds and sample videos. So what do you think about this one? Now click on Titles. Here are some neutral and also cool and fun options. The cover is filmed as a one-shot clip with a single camera, so we don't have to do any montage. Let's just trim a little bit from the beginning and the end of the video. The sound is the thing to focus on most. If you recorded the sound not with the camera mic, but with an external microphone like we did with the zoom, you need to drag the separate audio file and synchronize it with the video. I recommend you try the audio editing tools in Movavi Video Suite. For example, the 10-band equalizer can correct sound frequencies. If you're confused with all the settings, start with existing profiles. For me, I use the voice enhancement preset. The program includes a noise reduction option. 
I usually select low parameters, about 5%. If you have a good voice or you play an instrument well, don't hide it. I bet your subscribers would appreciate hearing some popular tunes covered by you. That's right! Don't be shy, record your own cover songs and leave the links in the comment section below. We'll check them out! We promise! That's it for today! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe if you like this and watch more of our channel, of course! I'll see you in a week! Bye!